we found out we were going to be going to court the week that our youngest daughter, Elia, was born. Um, so that was a particularly difficult time, um, sort of adjusting to life with a new baby um, and knowing that you had a court case sort of looming ahead of you. I think the way the Equality Commission handled it was very one-sided. You know, it was clear from the start that uh, we didn't hate anyone, we weren't trying to discriminate against anyone. We did what we did because of our, our Christian beliefs, um, but yet they wanted to pursue it with everything they had. They wanted to, to take us to court. They wanted, I think, to try and maybe teach us a lesson or send out a signal. And the signal they're trying to send out to me was very clear. If you're a Christian, don't bring it into work. This is my life. This isn't uh, something I do at church. And, um, you know, if people think that that's unfashionable, if it's not, if they maybe think it's culturally irrelevant, then that doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is that um, I live my life as best as I can in accordance to God's commands in his word. And that's why it's not done out of hatred for someone, rather it's done out of love for God to obey him. Outside of, you know, a few random acts of vandalism um, and you know, several fairly uh, just meanly worded letters. Um, there's been no adverse effects on the business. I find the court case itself um, a difficult time. I would be quite a shy person. I was very out of my comfort zone. Um, in those clips of Daniel and myself outside the courthouse, um, I was just incredibly nervous. Um, and as I say, very out of my comfort zone, but God has um, said that he's, he hasn't promised us a comfortable life. He has said that he will never leave us or forsake us, even in the most uncomfortable of circumstances. And I really find that to be true. Um, he gave me the strength just when I needed it. You know, day to day, I'm usually so busy changing nappies and wiping runny noses that I don't really think about it too much. Um, although it's always sort of there in the back of your mind. A lesson that we've learned through this is that at the start, yes, we were worried and we were anxious. Um, but if you came to me and said, would you go through it again? I would say definitely yes. And I would say to other Christians um, who are maybe facing pressures, whether it's at work or in public life, um, don't be afraid to take your Christian stand uh, because we've learned that God is with you uh, in all of it and he gives you the grace to, to stand against these, these trials and these challenges. God has really used it to, to strengthen our marriage um, and strengthen our relationship with God as well. Um, we just had to trust in him and we've seen him answer prayer time and time again. Yeah, that has been, um, it has been a blessing in our marriage as well, yeah. Yeah, it definitely puts you in a position where you realise, I can't do this by myself. Um, it's, it's really encouraging to hear about people who we know uh, supporting us and uh, praying for us or, or uh, just taking a general stand um, for what we've done. Um, but it's even more encouraging when it's people who we've never met and we don't know and you hear about it through someone else. Um, that there, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a real boost.